Safari Pedals has just released the Flamingo Verb and uh, they gave me early access to it so that I could take a look. So let's get started. All right, so I have early access and that means that I cannot see the website and see their claims. However, I do have the email from Noam. He wanted to share the beta with me. It has built in auto gain and oversampling, which is like oversampling is weird for a reverb. As well as some unique features, the biggest one being the time knob moves between four original impulse responses I've recorded of my favorite reverbs. This is the time knob and that means that it should switch dynamically or something. Interesting. How would that work? Anyway, Dahlia, one of my assistants uh, replied with like, hey, there's a lot of stuff uh, coming uh, coming in and uh, you probably won't run out on content uh, these days. And of course, like there are more ideas than I can make content about and also make stories about. Anyway, Dahlia responded with like, hey, glad to meet you. Uh, thanks for sending the plugin. We added it to the list. It's a bit busy. So we might not make it for a release date, but we should definitely take a look. And the reason that I could actually do it on this date is because I had to move back a different review by a few days because I was waiting on some material. Anyway, sounds good. And this morning when I dove into it, was the first time that I saw it and I saw the oversampling thing, I just quickly emailed him like, hey, why oversampling? Or did you do that just to impress me and get a better snake oil score or something? And then he replied with, not at all, it affects the processing of the drive knob greatly. That's this knob. I didn't see the drive job knob yet, and that's of course logical. I approached this plugin that drive differently than the Gorilla Drive as I wanted something, blah, 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 blah. And uh, Jasmine just, you know, put an internal note like, hey, we put it in Notion, which is our internal databasing system. So that is everything that I know right now about Flamingo Verb, and it's also the disclosure. If you appreciate my efforts in trying to stay as independent as I can, make sure to check out my affiliate links, Toman, Sweetwater, and Plugin Boutique. And when you buy something through one of those links, a little bit of your purchase gets kicked back to me. So you're supporting the channel without it costing you anything extra. But only buy something in those shops if you really need it. Don't go there and buy something just to support me. That, that would be weird. Anyway, Flamingo Verb. So we've got Drive, Time, Width. Oh, interesting. Oversampling, Pre-Delay, High Pass, Low Pass. Okay. Let's run audio through it. Here is Sandstorm by The Root. Let's first do the full, the full, the full, the full song. Oh, cool. Let's turn off a few channels. No, let's do drums. Oh, here it switches. So you can clearly hear that it's switching between different impulse responses. Interesting. With. Oh, oh, that's, that's. If I go mono. Actually, in mono, it still stays very good. Okay. Feels really weird. Drive. It's not, it's not that much drive. Now the pre-delay, I'm going to blend it with the original signal, of course, because otherwise pre-delay doesn't do a lot. It's a bit of a gnarly, dirty character it has. It's, it's, uh, yeah. I could stare at you for a hundred years and I never blink and I, You were beautiful, just like a flower 
And of course, if you drive it, it's, it's even more. A million miles on my feet when I get tired. Where you go, I'll go. Winter or summer. I don't care the seasons change. Cause darling, I'll stay, I'll stay, I'll stay right here with you. Mm -hmm. Every night and every day. Cause darling, there's nothing in this world I'd rather do. Never been this close to heaven. Never felt something just like this ecstasy. Never been this close to heaven. I don't know if this is real or fantasy or somewhere in between. Reverbs, and I've, I've said this in a different video that is uh, not public yet because uh, it's still an embargo, but the amount of controls are sometimes so important for workflow and with reverb i tend to grab reverbs that, that have less control but of which i know how they sound and this really has a certain sound oh wow that that, that was weird shouldn't do that shouldn't do that Ah, it shouldn't do that. And and this one is a bit bit metallic, bit gnarly sometimes. Depends a bit on the drive setting, of course. But it's really a certain character. It, it reminds me a little bit of the EMT plate, where the only control I have is the is the timing control. I don't have any other controls. I can drive it with the volume. I can do pre-delaying if if I would put an extra delay in front of it, and uh, I can do EQing because I normally send it through an EQ towards the plate and because of that i really like such a reverb but again you're really stuck to one single character one single verb in this case there are four different impulse responses in there but it's still you only have those it's not like a lexicon or something that you can have a wide variety of verbs with a plugin like this it's really good to have a demo because the sound character has to match what you're making it has to click for you I would motivate everybody to check out the demo. Don't buy it right away. Absolutely not from this video or whatever. Because if you really feel that this is the verb that suits your project, then it's a pretty easy one to set up and, and get going. Like it's it's so simple and it's so straightforward. And I really like it if a reverb is like that because generally I find reverbs to be very complicated and confusing. Even the FabFilter Pro R, I think it's the best interface for advanced reverb design, but I don't think it's the best interface for workflow. But yeah, that's just what I think about reverbs and Flamingo Verb. Yeah, I'll link to uh, I'll link to them in the description down below. If they are on Plugin Boutique, I don't think they are, but if they are on Plugin Boutique, I'll include an affiliate link to Plugin Boutique as well, so that if you after trying this thing out, uh, want to buy it and want to kick back a little bit towards me. It is possible, but it will all be described in the description down below. Direct links are direct and, and affiliate links are affiliate links. If you like my videos and want to support me, consider becoming a channel member. I'll link an interesting playlist for members over here. Another way to support the channel is by watching more videos. I'll link an interesting video over here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you don't like my videos, don't forget to unsubscribe. Keep pushing and bye bye.